guys, my name is Jocelyn Conley, pelvic floor physical therapist. And in this video, I'm going to show you the head and neck lift lying down. And the purpose of this exercise is to train the deep core system when there is a weakness or a disconnect from the top of the rib cage uh, to the pelvis. So keep in mind, if you've worked with me and we've done a special setup with pillows or a wedge, you're going to want to replicate that when you do this on your own. So I have a pillow here. Some people I use a wedge. Sometimes we make a teeth with pillows. The idea is to get your pelvis in a good alignment with your rib cage. So you're gonna lay on your back and you can lay with your legs out straight with a pillow underneath your knees or with your knees bent like this. And what you're going to do is you're gonna gently engage your deep system as I taught you. You're gonna gently engage your pelvic floor and then tuck your chin like you're ma making a double chin and just curl your head up a little bit. And then you're gonna control your head back down. So again, gentle engagement of the pelvic floor, tuck your chin, Lift your head just a little bit. Hold for three to five seconds. Then head down, untuck. So some people, I will tell them to move a little bit more, but everything below stays still. Some people, I'll just have them do a chin tuck, or you can do a little bit of a chin tuck and a little bit of lift. But you don't have to go you don't necessarily have to go all the way up. And if you do, you want to make sure your head does not jut forward, but it is rolling up. And it is harder than you would think. Most people, when they first start, they're going to get this and you don't want to do that. You want the roll. You want to feel connected in your deep system. Uh, if you are having trouble, maybe you need to adjust your your pillows a little bit. Try it with and without the connection with your pelvic floor. See what, where you feel most.